as you can see in here, it's an awful wet day. It's been wet the last couple of days really. Absolutely chucking it down right now. There's not a lot I can do in the garden, but I can show you something that I have got on with this week. And that is over here. So I've already seen this area that I've prepared for planting and the tree fern as well. But I have now got round to doing all this area. So between the, the pond and the bamboos and fatsias down here. So what I've done is dug over all the old lawn that was here and been here for 45 years so the ground was extremely compacted and full of absolutely hundreds of roots from, from behind the bamboo we've got the conifers there and all this was just massive roots I've dug out loads and loads of roots really really dry in fact believe it or not I know you've seen all this rain now but it's absolutely bone powder dry really tough going to dig into this Anyway, so I've dug over that, I've put in a couple of ton of topsoil and now this is ready for planting and that is something I wanted to do. Unfortunately, the weather's not really conducive to planting today, it's a really heavy rain. So what I'm going to plant in this area, taking up a large area here, that's about 3 metres square, is a gunnera manicata, the proper gunnera that grows giant leaves. This will be well watered and this will, because it gets so big, will allow it to cover this entire area with its huge leaves that will go in towards the path that goes down over the bridge into the rest of the garden. So that was going to be the job today, but as you can see, it's chucking it down. And even we've got surface water there on the newly put in topsoil just shows you how wet it's been and I bet if we go to the pond yeah you can see the water there it's gone higher than it normally does and that's another job that needs doing is clearing out the pond get all this pond weed out getting all the debris and clearing this out before winter Thanks for watching this short edition of Yorkshire Chris Weekly. Next week I'll be using these grow bags. Catch me then.